Did you know that you can find free images that you can sell on Facebook Marketplace? And if you don't know what I'm talking about, take a look at this. Right now I'm browsing Facebook Marketplace and I type in Van Gogh, which is a painter back in the day he used to paint. He's very popular and his art is very famous. And I see a listing like this. I know that this listing is a dropshipping listing, or at least it's a painting that it's basically copy of what Van Gogh painted and someone is selling it. Someone is actually selling it for $20 on Facebook Marketplace and they didn't take any of these pictures. This is all copy and paste and created by the software. Let's take a look at another example, okay? This is a very famous painting that someone created a long time ago and now people are selling it on Facebook Marketplace legally and you can do it the same thing as well. Today, I wanna show you how you can sell famous paintings that are available for free and legally without any consequences. This is a great side hustle that you can do it from anywhere. You just need a computer or even cell phone to start doing. And the best part is you need a very small capital, less than $100 to start this with. Let's start with the basics, okay? What is a print on demand? Print on demand is basically a business model when you sell art on t-shirts, cups, phone cases, canvas, paintings, whatever that you design and you don't have to print it out. You don't have to have a machine that prints out your designs on t-shirts. There are websites such as Printful, for example, that will do this all for you. All you have to do is basically get sales and they will handle the shipping, the printing, all of that for you, which is kind of amazing because that allows you to have a freedom in the way you market your stuff and the designs you want to use. Now, I'm not a very creative person and I'm also looking for shortcuts. So recently, I learned that there is something called public domain. And what public domain is basically, it's a license for images that allows you to use them whichever way you want. Most of the time, public domain is available to very old paintings that the owners or creators died and their copyrights have expired. A big example of this is Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa painting is actually a public domain, which means that you can use Mona Lisa image and put it on a t-shirt. Another one is Van Gogh, an example that I used earlier. His paintings have currently a public domain license, which means anyone can use them and put them on wherever you want. You want a pillow with Van Gogh pictures? Boom. You want a phone case with Mona Lisa? Boom, you got it. And that's beautiful because there's already a big audience that is very passionate about this type of painting. And they enjoy affiliating themselves with these artists and paintings. So now you know what public domain is. How do you find images that are legal to use and have a public domain license. So there are a few websites that I can recommend that are public domain websites where you can find public domain images. One of these websites is surprisingly Wikipedia. I didn't know that earlier, but Wikipedia is a source of public domain images. All you have to do is go to wikipedia.com, type in an artist, for example, like Van Gogh, click on their images and check the license. If it says it's a public domain license, hey, you can use it and do whatever you want with it. Another great website that has a list of free public domain images is freeimages.com. All you have to do is go on this website, browse their catalog, or maybe type in an artist you wanna find, pick an image, make sure that it says the license is a public free domain license, and do whatever you want as well. Another one that I can recommend is metmuseum.org, which is the biggest art collection museum in the world. So they probably have a thing or two that has a lot public domain license. Just use the link down below, type in what you're looking for, and you can probably use it. Again, check the license if it says public domain. Another website that I use is called rawpixel.com. Rawpixel.com is a website that has a lot of images available for you to download. They have a mix of different licenses. So whenever you look for an image, make sure that you're looking for a public domain license. But the idea here is the same. You type whatever you want. Let's say Japanese art, pick an image, download it and put it on whatever you want. Okay, so now you know where to find public domain images. But how do you actually sell them on Facebook Marketplace? First, you need to find a service that will print this out for you and put your designs on the Canva 
a t-shirt or maybe a cup. So when you go on Google searches and type in print on demand, you're gonna find a bunch of services such as Redbubble, Printify or Printful. And this is the one I decided to go with. I went with Printful because it allows you to place me manual orders. You see a service such as Redbubble or Printify they need an integration with a specific marketplace. Since I'm selling on Facebook Marketplace and this marketplace doesn't have a direct integration to any of these platforms, I have to order the items manually. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna create a product template, okay? So I'm gonna go to product templates and click on create new. Once I'm here, it's gonna ask me what type of product I'm gonna design. I'm gonna go with Canva because Canvas are very popular. This thing behind me is actual Canva as well. I'm gonna design Canva. I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm gonna go to Home and Living and click on Canva Prints. Once I'm there, I'm gonna pick the Canva. I'm gonna upload my file, select the size, click continue, name it, and save the product. Great, so now I have my template. Now I'm gonna list this item on Facebook Marketplace. So I'm gonna click on download mockups and select the mockups I want. They have a list of different mockups so I can pick, let's say this one, this one, this one. I'm trying to use mockups that look like they are being used in real life because these are performing usually very well instead of using just a simple white background one. And voila, I have the mockups on my computer. Now I'm gonna go to Facebook Marketplace and list them on my Facebook Marketplace account. So once I'm on my Facebook Marketplace, I'm gonna go and create new listing, items for sale. I'll put the title of this, the price, description, and I'll upload the images that I downloaded from Printful. Great, so now all I have to do is just wait for the sale. And when the sale happens, I'm gonna use my customer information and make an order on Printful. Let me show you how to do it. Once I get an order on Facebook Marketplace, I'm gonna go back to Printful and click on Product Templates. And I'm gonna click on the one I just created and click on Make an Order. Once I'm there, I'm gonna click on Create Your Order. I'm gonna pick the size I wanna order, click on Continue to Shipping and fill out the shipping information that I got from Facebook. So whenever you get an order on Facebook Marketplace, Facebook will give you your customer information, which you will put right here. Once you do that, all you have to do is just review the order and send it to your customer. That's it. It's a very simple process. We talked about images that are very popular, such as like Van Gogh or the Japanese image that I showed you, right? But there might be a lot of images that are using a Van Gogh design. So what you can do, you can stand out from the competition by redesigning these images. For example, people are editing the Van Gogh image and putting different stuff on it. They add icons, people, they change the colors just to make them a little bit different, funny and attractive. And you can do this as well, as long as the image is a public domain image. And how do you modify these images? Well, you can use a free tool called Canva, which is a graphic design software that you can upload the public domain images that you found on the internet and modify them the way you want it. You wanna add a dog? Here you go. Maybe you wanna add a spaceship flying in the background. You can do this as well. Making these images funny, attractive, and proving them, it's a great way to stand out from the competition and potentially get more sales. Remember, you can only do these things when you're using public domain images. It's very important that you check the license whenever you find an image that you want to use. Canva, for example, also offers a free stock of images. However, not all of them have a public domain license. This is why you wanna use the websites that I mentioned earlier because these websites state what license these images is using that you can use it in the future. Using a Facebook shop to create print-on-demand store is a great way to stand out. You can create brands using print-on-demand products. Let's say you wanna specialize in a Facebook shop that the theme are flowers. Maybe you wanna sell paintings with the flowers. Or maybe you wanna have a Japanese store with Japanese art and sell t-shirts that have a Japanese art on it. This is a great way to create a branded niche store on Facebook Marketplace and build something long-term. If you wanna learn more about Facebook shops, I recommend joining our private Discord. We have weekly meetings and we discuss everything related to dropshipping on Facebook Marketplace, eBay, 
Facebook shops and print on demand stuff as well. This is a great way to learn anything and it only costs you $7 a month. I learn something new every day whenever I have my meetings with the members of my community and that's how I stay updated with all these new internet money-making ideas. It's very informative, very casual and very helpful community. If you want to learn how to start dropshipping on Facebook Marketplace or eBay, check out the links down below for the courses they will teach you how to do it. And there are also some software automations for Facebook that I recommend. So check them out as well. But that will be it for today. I hope you like it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.